Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem 234. In this problem, we are required to resolve the force F1 and F2 into their X and Y components, right? So first I will solve this problem. So in this problem, we are required to resolve this F1 and F2 forces into its components, right? So their angles are given. Uh, the F1 angle is given with the Y axis, right? So if we resolve this F1 into its components, so we will have uh, one component along the y right and we will have one another component along the x axis is right so since f1 is making angle with the y axis then this will be f1 y and this one is f1 x right so this f1 y is the cos component right so the angle is made with the y axis is so then f1 y will be the cos component right so we can write that this is f1 cos of 30 degrees right and similarly this is f1 sine of 30 degrees so we can write that f1 x is equal to f1 sine of 30 and f1 magnitude is 400 right so we can write that this is 400 sine of 30 degrees and similarly f1 y is 400 cause of 30 degrees right similarly if we resolve uh, f2 into its components right so we will have one component uh, in this direction right and we will have one another component which will be acting in this direction that is parallel to the x-axis is right so as we can see that the angle is made with the x-axis is right so this is the cos component right we can place this component here as well right so this is the cos component right so we can say that this f2x is we can write that f2x is 250 cos of 45 degrees and similarly if if i place this if i place this component here so then this is the sine component right so we can write that uh, f2y is f2 sine of 45 degrees or we can write that this is 250 sine of 45 degrees and now as we can see that this f2 x is acting in the positive x direction and this f2 y is acting in the negative y direction right so we can write that this is the negative component right This is 176.78 right so i will write 176.78 newtons and similarly f2y is minus 176.78 newtons right so we have resolved f1 and f2 into its x and y components right so now we will solve this problem in this problem we are required to determine the magnitude of the resultant force of f1 and f2 right and we have to find the angle of the resultant force with the positive x-axis and that angle need to be measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis right so if you want to find the resultant of f1 and f2 so then we have to find the rx component of the resultant so rx component will be f1x plus f2x and as we know that f1x is 200 and f2x is 176.78 so this will give us rx so this will be 376.78 newtons and similarly our y will be equal to f1y plus f2y right so f1y is 346.41 and f2y is negative right so this is minus 176.78 newtons so this is 346.41 minus 176.78 this is 169.63 169.63 newtons right and if you want to find the magnitude of the resultant so the magnitude of the resultant will be equal to r x square plus r y square and we will take the square root so r x is 376.78 square plus 169.63 squared so 
So the result in magnitude is 413.20, right? So I will write 413.20 newtons, right? And we are required to find the direction, right? That is the angle measured with the positive x-axis, right? So if if I draw the resultant force, right? So the resultant force has a component which is acting in the positive x direction. That is, let's say that this is the our x component, this arrow. And let's say that this is our y, right? So we can place this our y here as well, and we can place it here as well, right? So this red arrow is our x, this is our y. So the resultant will be from the tail of our x to the head of our y, right? So this is the resultant, right? So we are required to find this angle, this theta, right? And this is the angle measured with the positive x axis in the counterclockwise direction. Right, so if, if I apply tan theta to this red triangle, so we can write that tan theta is equal to R y divided by R x. So theta equals to tan inverse. R y is 169.63 divided by R x. So R x is 376.78 uh, newtons, right? So 169.63 divided by 376.78. So this is 24.24 degrees. So this is the resultant magnitude and this is the angle of the resultant with the positive x-axis and this angle is measured the, in the counterclockwise direction, right? So this is the direction of this angle. Right? So this is the solution of this particular problem.